Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I am Sonic Lopsided and I am back today with a brand new gameplay commentary and what you're watching here is some Crisis 2 gameplay footage here on the Xbox 360. Uh, you might be asking yourself, you know, why are you playing Crisis 2? Isn't that game kind of crusty and old? Well, um... I don't know. It's it's part of me getting the hang of the game, uh, getting a little bit of a acquaintance with the game because I'm going to be using it for a new series that I'm starting up pretty soon. Uh, no details on that yet. I'm going to keep you guys in the dark about it for now, uh, but I will update you in the future with a full-fledged video letting you know what's going on with, uh, with Crisis 2 and uh, the future that it has here on the channel. Anyways, I want to talk to you guys about a topic today, something that I noticed uh, and found out a couple days ago that's pretty awesome, and that is, uh, you know, if you've already read the title of the video, Halo ODST is being released in, a, in an HD remaster for the Master Chief Collection, and how awesome, guys. I gotta tell you, um, ODST was the black sheep of the Halo franchise, you know, not very many people enjoyed it, not many people played it, and uh, as a result, it didn't sell well, and it didn't get that many uh, good ratings from the critics. Um, it's one saving grace was that it came with Halo 3 in its uh, multiplayer entirety, so you got every map pack um, that was released at the time, uh, which ended up being all of the maps um, for Halo 3, which uh, was included. It was it was completely included. When I pre-ordered the game, you know, being a diehard Halo fan, I never thought twice. You know, I was just like, all right, new Halo game, got to go pre-order it. Don't care what it's about, got to go pre-order it. You know what I mean? Because I've been such a fan for so long um, that I really, I just, I just, you know, I knew that it was going to be good. Um, so I pre-ordered it, bought it. I was kind of confused. I was like, a new Halo game for 40 bucks? You know, that doesn't seem right. Usually they're 60 bucks, but uh, this one was only 40 so I was like, I wasn't going to question it. You know, I paid it off in full, went to the midnight release, hung around for like three or four hours talking to people, um, and picked the game up. <clears throat> Lo and behold, you get it home, and it has a full-fledged... Uh, complete version of Halo 3's multiplayer with the with the map packs and all which made it completely worth it there I was uh, even if I didn't um, like the game itself I knew that it was worth the $40 just for that um, but I took ODST I went in it with a complete open mind because I had no idea what it was gonna be um, I did little to no research back then I just knew uh, basically I, I went on brand recognition you know <clears throat> I didn't think too much into, you know, researching a game uh, based on its story or whatever. Um, I just knew that, you know, I like Call of Duty and Halo. Um, and I, I, I'm... It's, it feels crappy to admit that at this point, but, uh, you know, that's how it was back then. I've also I've matured a lot since then, but... Um, Anyways, yeah, it, it's a really good game. It chooses not to focus on the Master Chief, um, but in turn it, it focuses on a group of... Uh, a group of human characters um, and you go through the entire game um, you know in basically in flashback mode you keep having flashbacks the whole time throughout the game and it's it's pretty awesome mechanic um, and they they really figured out you know how to make a great game um, and and still have that halo feel but not be focused around the master chief um, or the the uh, covenant but um, it also had one of my favorite guns, which hasn't been implemented in any Halo since, the uh, Silenced SMG. I thought that was an awesome gun. Um, it probably wasn't any stronger or any less stronger than a regular SMG, but the fact that they used it was still pretty awesome, and I was uh, I was really excited to see that. Uh, and you never, you never really saw it in any other game. Another thing that ODST was you know, known for was its firefight mode, its introduction into firefight mode, and they basically took the idea directly from Gears of War, because Gears of War, uh, if you've played it, you know it has a, a mode called Horde, and basically, it's just a bunch of the enemies running at you wave after wave, kind of like in uh, Call of Duty Zombies, but, um, um, you know, you don't really build anything back, you know what I mean? But uh, you basically just fight wave after wave of Covenant and uh, Flood and, and all the different enemies from from the Halo franchise, and you just fight them wave after wave. Um, that was the the one big pulling point, you know, they, they really wanted you to, to play that. Uh, the one downside I think that uh, probably steered a lot of people away from ODST was the fact that it didn't have its own standalone multiplayer. Um, as in competitive multiplayer online, um, it, it chose the firefight route instead of, you know, just another another uh, multiplayer mode such, such as like Team Slayer or something like that. That's why they included that Halo 3 multiplayer disc so that, um, 
you know, they, I guess if they felt, they felt like if, if, you know, if we're not going to give them a full game, let's just give them all the map packs, um, included with the game. And, um, like I said, you know, I really enjoyed it and it's, it's, uh, it's one of those games that I've played through a few times by myself, but uh, I've also played through it about four or five times with my friends. Um, even up until recently as last year, I would go back with my buddies and we would play through it, um, online together. Uh, just because it's it's a really good game. It's uh, it's not too terribly long. I beat it in, in the night that I bought it. Um, but just really good. But anyways, if you guys have hang, hung around the Master Chief Collection since it released back in uh, November. I think it was the 11th of November. Um, it was rocky. It was a super rocky start to, to the Master Chief Collection. 343. I don't know if they just didn't know what they were doing or if they just rushed the game to release to, to get that holiday sale in. Um, but I'm telling you guys, it was unplayable. You know, the 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 game was seemed like it was half finished. You couldn't get an online game. It, it would be, you would wait in multiplayer for 10, 15. I waited up to a half an hour the first day it released to try and get a game connecting to absolutely no one and i thought it was me but then i go online and i check it out and it just it just it was happening to everybody nobody was able to connect um the servers were not for fixed out they you know they had bug after bug um and through a long series of patches actually not only until recently maybe the past couple of months are you able to um, go into the game, wait a few seconds, grab some people, and get started playing. For a while, it took a long time to find a game. Um, and it, that was something that plagued us early adopters of the game um, from the beginning. Uh, and it all it was almost enough to push some people to stop playing altogether. You know, I kept trying intermittently. You know, for the first couple days, I would force through, and I was just trying to find a game. Um, then I just decided, you know, I wasn't going to sit around and watch a screen try and load for half an hour. I'm gonna just going to go play something that I know I'm going to be able to get a game in. So, um, you know, I went with uh, Destiny and, um, and uh, Call of Duty at the time. And, uh, you know, I would check intermittently every few days. I would go on there and see if anything had changed, you know, if I could find a game or not. And uh, it, it just wasn't happening. Um, so I gave it about, you know, a few, few week uh, break and it finally came up with a patch. Uh, that that fixed the multiplayer enough uh, to where you could get a game, but it made the multiplayer so imbalanced What would happen is it would just basically take you and take a bunch of people You know as quickly as it could to find a game no matter what your levels or experience was at or anything It would just match players together throw them into a game for the sake of doing it because they they you know They didn't want to make people angry anymore So you would be like level 5 and 10 getting matched with level 50s and 40s and stuff and it, you just basically go in there and get your ass handed to you that's how it was um, and that was what I was finding a lot because I'm okay at Halo but I'm not a I'm not a master you know um, I, I I couldn't stand getting placed with like level 50s and stuff and uh, just getting owned over and over and over again and that that that's disheartening you know the people that kept getting that matched uh, matched up if they were the 50 you know they were they were doing awesome but it's not beneficial to them you know because they're beating up on a bunch of level threes and stuff so they're not building their skill at all and for the people that were the lower levels just getting demolished by the 50s that's not helping them out at all either you know they're just getting murdered over and over again there's nothing they can do um, so I don't know you know it was it was really rocky and really crappy to to start off for a while um, but they have come out and said uh, representative for 343 has come out and said that any of the people that played the game initially from November the 11th to December the 13th so if you were one of those early adopters that picked the game up um, surely out of being a fan like I did you're gonna get ODST completely for free you know you're just gonna go in there it's gonna ask you to update or you know something like that along those lines and you'll just be able to download that for free um, so that's like their 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 way of saying I'm sorry for for the rocky start um, to all you early adopters. So enjoy ODST for free. For everybody else, um, it's going to be a download game. So you'll be able to go into the Master Chief Collection. I figure you'll probably have to own the Master Chief Collection because I think it's going to be within the game. So you can go in there and download ODST as a standalone game for I think $7.99 is what I read. Um, 
and it's not bad considering it's going to be a remaster. Uh, what what you uh, have to consider, you know, I guess you can consider the ODST at GameStop right now used is like 450 or something like that for the game plus the multiplayer disc, but no one's really playing it anymore. I would rather pay $7 for the remaster and it look a little bit nicer and be able to use it at the same time. Um, but yeah, guys, I hope that uh, you guys will check out ODST. Let me know down in the comment section if you enjoyed ODST at all. And um, on top of that, you know, just let me know what you think about this whole thing in general, um, about the Master Chief Collection. If you were an early adopter, what your uh, experience with it was. And um, that's it for now, guys. Thanks for watching. This has been Sonic Lopsided, and take care. Hey guys, a few quick things before you take off. Please press that subscribe button if you haven't already. It's completely free, I promise. They won't even charge you a penny. Also, share the video out with your friends. That helps me out a great bit. Also, don't forget to like. Comments are awesome. If you'd like to see more from me, press the video link that you guys see on the screen there. You see that little moving box? Yeah, press that. That'll take you to my previous video. That's pretty awesome too. Once again, thank you guys for watching and uh, thank you for subscribing. You did subscribe right. You pressed the, the, the sub button. You did. Uh, yeah, you did. You did.